Luna Cognito, uh, Ultimate Handbook of the Moon. I wanted this book. This was published in uh, February 2020, just three months ago. And immediately went out of print. I ordered it from the, I mean, last month I ordered it from the First Light Optics. They got the money, but they didn't have the book to re deliver. So I had to ask them to cancel it. Why did they take the money when they don't have it? So I went and ordered it from Amazon. Yet again, they delivered one volume. I put the video at the end of this video. You can see it. Only one volume. That's a common practice by the Amazon about this book. There's many complaints about this from them. So I cancelled that one, I returned it, cancelled that one, and I ordered from the publisher in Germany, Springer Verlag. Springer Verlag wanted to print on demand, that means inferior quality. I have to ask him, if they're going to do that, I will cancel it. They accepted my cancellation because they were going to do a print on demand. So at the end, I went to a professional bookseller, Waterstones, in Britain. And they delivered it. This is the real deal. It's heavy. It's not one volume. Uh, you think it's not? Let's open and see. So, let's see what we have here. Ooh, Luna Cognita. Finally, I got this three volume <laughs> with one pack. Ah, I'm going to open it now. Just wait. Isn't it beautiful? Luna Cognita by the Waterstones. Beautiful packaging. Look at it. How elegant it is. So, these are the spacers. And that's the three set. Three volume set. Ooh, I got it. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh my God. I went all around Europe for this. <laughs> Let's take it out. So that's a box of Waterstone. The professional booksellers have upped their game. Look at that beauty. The box only sold is a piece of art. <laughs> and this is the Luna Cognita. Okay, this is the three volume set. Nicely packed. And you cannot find it anywhere. <laughs> I cannot believe of it. All around Europe were this tree set. This is the coronavirus lockdown time. Probably they cannot print it. This is the first print, so this is usually the best edition. The best quality of print is the first one. And I'm going to open it, but I will have a review of it later probably. It's too big for one hand to do it. So, the beautiful packaging comes out this three lines hold the book together I don't know how Amazon managed to separate this three with secured with this bands very strong and uh, give me only one volume that's extraordinary I'll show you at the end of this video how that one looked so this is volume one this is volume two, and this is volume three. I have to open it and have a review. That will be later, probably. Or should I open it now? Let me open it volume one. Okay, I'm going to open the volume one of the Luna Cognita. So I'm taking the plastic off. Oh, beautiful book. <coughs> More than 1,600 pages. Published in 2020. Springer Nature. Volume 1 by Robert A. Garfinkel. Luna Cognita, a compre comprehensive observer's handbook of the known moon. Volume 1. Oh my God, look, the first part, just a <coughs> list of figures. <coughs> Coming 
content. Oh, let's go and see what is it. Bust of Galileo Galilei holding a telescope with the author Massimo Galileo, Florence, Italy. Massimo Galileo. Hmm. Museo Galileo. Oh, with the author in the Museo Galileo, Museum of Galileo. Galileo's Museum. That's the author. I thought that's the son of <laughs> Massimo or something like that. Okay. Book by the author. The other books that you have written. Uh, advanced uh, sky watching, space watching, a guide to the night sky, backyard astronomy, practical sky watching, uh, Der Stern Himmel, Observer El Cielo, Spanish language. Oh, he has written many, many languages. Robert Garfinkel lives in the Union City, USA. So he has already transported himself to somewhere else. Look at the, just a list of the images. That's massive. But impact cratering, moon geology. Oh my God, look at that. Old maps of the moon. Everything covered. Oof, Earthshine. Size difference of the moon due to the elliptical orbit. Oh God, I cannot help it. I have to go for the next volume just to sh look at it, how it looks. This is a quality, look at it. <clears throat> Harold Hill, oh, Harold Hill. That's the author of that book. Harold Hill has written the Lunar Sketches portfolio. So this was the volume one. And in total volume one, how many pages? Ooh. It has a very strange way of numbering pages. 1170, 1020. Okay, they are written like that. 1171. Ooh. It's, it's like these textbooks, university textbooks. Look at that, all the details. That ray, that's amazing. Ah, last page, Campania Italiana. Liebeb advertisement card showing the first quarter moon. Oh, that's the advertisement. Circa 1900s. Oh, I have to do my more painting. This is one of my paintings of the moon. With the asteroid approaching the Earth and the Moon, and this is my astro scan telescope in the sky. Anyway, uh, that's asteroid because it's a coppery red color. And uh, that was volume one. Let's go for volume two. I cannot resist. That's volume two. Removing his cloth. Yeah, the rest. Let's undress the volume two. Okay, I removed the dress of the volume two. Oh my god, look. Good quality binding. That's something that we love. Oh, it's ultimate. What is that color? Color picture. Oh, that's one of those Patrick Moore ones. It scribbles everywhere. No, they're just absolutely color to that. Oh, that's it. Reese's map. Hmm. Persia is at the center of the world. Yeah, that was the idea. That is even not the idea. That's all the world is all because of that. Center of the world. <laughs> the prime meridian once was for a long time was there. You read the old geographical books. Oh, look at this. Can you imagine beautiful ladies in a book about the moon? That's the Herodotus uh, crater and Herodotus and uh, Cobra's head. This is a volcano, all volcanic area. 
Oh, wow. Look, the rays. Look at the rays. They have photographed here. They have traced them here. Principal rays. Oh, my God. Look at this. The ultimate. Oh, look. Indecent activity in the moon about them. But <laughs> on the moon about. When a book about the moon. Anyway. <laughs> ah. Such a delight. Oh, look at that piece of art. That must be Clementine. Oh, it's a painting. Oh, yeah, that's a painting. The old painting. And it goes forever. Printed in Print Force, Netherlands. The last is the last page of the volume two. An eclipse. Now let's go directly to volume three. Let's undress it. Uh -huh. That's the volume three. God, such an overwhelming book. Look at it. All the details. Valleys, all the details, everything. Everything we know about the moon is here. I'm really curious to know more about this. The index is so massive. The bibliography is a page after page. It's practically, when you buy this, you have a lunar map <coughs> section. Yeah, look. Is this that's a one inch map or 200 inch map that guy made with the lower scribbles? The Nissan's Lunar Atlas. No, it's not that. So, hopefully. Lots of page after page of information. Oh, that's a Patrick Moore, I think. Ah, old movies, cards. Who are these people? Wilkins. Oh, Witkins. Wilkins map. It had some mistakes, but anyway, that was a map. 300 inch map so oh such a lovely volumes oh after so many years of not seeing anything special everybody was just making a little book about the tiny bits ah it's nice to see some real work here finally all the three volumes together amazing three volume I'm not going to delve into this so many other things. My wife asking me to watch the Hot Fuzz with her again. The 2000 movie. Very nice, funny English movie. Made for the American market, probably. A very funny. English are very intelligent in the movie making. Unlike Hollywood. Lack of ideas and everything you can see. They're kind of like a ghetto in Hollywood. They have a limited talent pool, which have run out of ideas. And everybody looks like a... Anyway, then you know who. Now you can watch the unboxing of the Amazon One Volume 1 that I received. Luna Cognita. That's one of the most comprehensive books about the moon. Luna means moon. Cognita means knowledge or knowing. Knowing the moon. So let's open and see what is it. I ordered it from Amazon. I read reviews that people saying that they have received only one volume of it. It should be in three volumes. I wanted to buy from the several of the telescope sellers in the UK, telescope uh, online retailers. They didn't have it, so it was uh, out of stock. They asked me to wait. I couldn't wait, so I just bought it from Amazon. Five pounds cheaper even. Now let's see how it will be. Premium. Amazon Prime. I, mean. I open it. So let's open and see what is inside. Uh -huh. I hope they have not sent me just one book. People were writing reviews and saying that, oh, they sent me only one book. Okay, here I see a lot of packaging. Again, they sent me one book. That's it. 
I'm not going to ask for it again. 